this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back for another Minecraft 1.8 snapshot. This is 14W11B, and we've got some more info for you today on those pesky little parasites, the brand new monster we just got, the Endermite, also some awesome new 3D block models to show off, and a few sneak peek screenshots of terrain generation options that we might be getting in 1.8, allowing us to tweak every little thing about our Minecraft worlds. So, the Endermite. If you missed yesterday's snapshot, you probably don't know about this little guy yet. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn all about him, but we're still learning little quirks about him today. And one of them is that occasionally they will spawn at Ender Chests. Now, I've heard confirmation of this uh, from a few people, and I've got this field of Ender Chests just trying this out. So far, no luck. If one does spawn, I do have a little command set up here that will make it hover half a block in the air, keeping it in place, and then also it has a little say command that'll say warning, Endermite detected, so we can see. He's freaking out, he doesn't like it, so let's get rid of him. But yeah, if one of them happens to spawn here, it's supposed to be very, very rare, but this is a little disconcerting because if you have one of these in your chat, in your uh, base, you might have an Endermite problem. They might infest your base by spawning here occasionally. They will despawn like any monster, but it's a little scary that we might see them pop up so we'll have to uh, keep an eye on that and see if that gets changed in the future. There's a lot we don't know about these little guys. They're very mysterious and they're linked to the dragon egg in some way, but we'll have to see if that's like a new way to spawn the dragon back or what it's going to be. Dinnerbone has all this stuff up his sleeve, but we'll have to, you know, check that out in the coming weeks. So over here, I've got a 3D resource pack. This is compil compiling all the different 3D block updates that have been posted recently, and PickRip on Reddit has made this little resource pack. I'll post a link with all the textures in there, all the, the new models, and the credits to all the people who worked on them. Now, they're all in this one pack, though, so you get the 3D rails here, you can see. There's even little 3D daffodils and 3D mushrooms. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, like, Cube World or 3D dot, uh, Game Heroes. But it's kind of cool, those little those little things there. They're very different looking, though, than the default. We also have the little bands on the hay block popping out. You saw these bricks and the chiseled stone brick uh, over here, if you watched yesterday's snapshot. We've got ladders popping out of the wall. That's really awesome. Bookshelves where the books pop out. And my personal favorite over here, the pumpkin and the jack-o'-lantern that are hollowed out. You can see the insides of them look really cool. And there's even a little torch in the jack-o'-lantern. And when you put it on your head, as you saw, I have a little, you know, my face actually shows up, which is really cool. Before it was just, you know, the solid black there in the pumpkin's eyes and mouth. But that's awesome. I, I love all these little things. It still remains to be seen whether Mojang's going to add like a fancy 3D model option to, you know, enable some of these in vanilla. But it's very easy to download a resource pack. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description if you want to check this out. Very easy to pop it in. It barely affects performance, as I've noticed here. It doesn't seem to really, you know, lag the game very much, at, if at all. So it's really cool to see that the game is getting more and more detailed, and we'll have to see how many crazy models and different stuff end up getting added to the game. Or we might even get mo uh, mob model editing. That would be really awesome to see custom monster looks in the game and animals and stuff. But we'll have to see how far that goes. So the last little bit of news, the Mogminer, the developer who is working on these models who made this uh, clay brick and the chiseled stone brick, he's also been working on a secret project. So every Friday, Mojang gets Prototype Friday where they can work on whatever they want, really. And for the past three weeks, he's been working on these terrain generation options. So you can tweak stuff with this, like sea level, uh, different you know compositions of how blocks show up and stuff like that. Uh, how many dungeons, strongholds, mine shafts, all that different stuff that you want in your world. Tons of more customization options than we've ever really had. The Mogminer actually worked on Wedge, which was a project that allowed you to do a lot of this stuff. And uh, he's kind of adding a lot of that to the game. Now, the only thing with this is that we don't know if this is going to get added to Vanilla or not. That's another thing that, like Dinnerbone talking about the dragon and the... Uh, the little ender might be linked to it. It's stuff that they have to run by the team before they can see if it's going to get added. But I really hope this does because it opens up these beautiful sky worlds, lots of different customization options, and makes it very easy to add them in without having to download any, you know, extra stuff or plugins or mods and things. So I think this is a good way to go. It's kind of like super flat, like allowing us to customize the world even more to make really interesting or amplified. That's another, you know, good example of how 
we can customize the game to have a more unique looking world. I'm liking all these visual changes, but it's also cool we're getting these survival and adventure changes too. Now we probably won't see too much in the next week or so, as most of the developers are at Game Developers Conference. We might not even get a snapshot, but I'm very curious to see where the mystery of the Endermite goes from here and uh, you know what other uh, features we happen to get in the game before 1.8 comes out in the next couple months or so. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Looking forward to 176. That'll probably be out in the next couple weeks here before the end of the month. And then May is the target release date for 1.8. So plenty of time to add more things to spice the game up before 1.8 comes out. Please, as always, thank you guys for watching this and leave a like if you did enjoy this because it really helps me out. Maybe subscribe if you haven't yet. Anyways, go watch the, uh, the other snapshot if you want to learn more about the Endermite, and I will see you guys next time for more Minecraft snapshot updates. Goodbye.